Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're going to be talking about Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. <laughs> Ted's Excellent Adventure is rated PG. It's an hour and 31 minutes long. Of course, this is where we officially got introduced to the lovely town of San Dimas, California. We meet Bill S. Preston Esquire and Ted Theodore Logan. And we also get introduced to Missy and Captain Logan. Now, these are the four characters that we do see within the trilogy. And of course, we do have the mentor, Rufus. Now, some of you may be a little bit confused on how I'm presenting this. Um, welcome if you are new. I actually started my way backwards within the trilogy. I know it's a very strange way to do things, but I'm a strange person and this is how we're doing it. So of course Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure is ranked in first place. It is the most excellent triumphant movie dudes and babes and you must check it out. Basically in this movie we do of course follow Bill and Ted who unknowing to them, unknowing to the world, are the chosen ones of the future. Now of course if you recall from my last two reviews about this movie, their purpose in life is to come up with a song that's going to unify and harmonize the whole universe and of course they're in part three, save reality as we know it. Now in order for them to of course achieve such things, they must first past their history class. That is right, we are going through history in Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. We actually got introduced to Rufus first. He is from the future, future in San Dimas, California, where the air is clean, the water is clean, even the dirt, the dirt is clean. Bowling scores are up, Moonly Golf scores are down, and then we gotta help the chosen ones to stay together because they must form the band, the Wild Stallions. In order to harmonize and bring the perfect society that is the future. Convincing them to get into this phone booth with a stranger from the future, very mystical deal, wasn't as difficult as you would think. You know, Ted of course had his doubts because of Napoleon basically hitching a ride. They got the most excellent idea to go back in time and basically just kidnap these historical figures from their timeline, bring them back to San Dimas in their present time to give this oral report and have the most bodacious epic coolest report that you could possibly give because you know what they brought the actual historical people back with them uh, which do include um billy the kid socrates which they actually called socrates uh joan of arc genghis khan beethoven abraham lincoln and sigmund freud i think i got everybody the way that time traveling actually works in this film you guys it's best really not to really put too much into it and it's actually kind of hard for me to explain because I feel like I'm going to really like confuse you guys. But trust me, there's really nothing confusing. But I feel like if I try to really explain it to you guys, it may be confusing. Our time traveling through a phone booth and like the circuits of time is actually really cool. I feel like the special effects actually still hold up to this day. I mean, they are more on the cheesier side, but I think it's really awesome. And like just what they're, we're able to accomplish within, you know, of course, you know, 89 and make it look that good. You definitely, definitely need to see this movie. It's absolutely triumphant. With that said, of course, it's gonna get a large popcorn rating. I absolutely love it. I found this movie in the $5 bin at Walmart. You can rent it on YouTube, you can rent it on Prime Video, but I would recommend to just go ahead, uh, head to your local Walmart, check out the $5 bin. That's where I got this movie from. Totally worth it because it actually ends up being uh, cheaper because this is the double feature than what it would cost to rent the movie. And I think it's a great addition to your collection and totally, again, worth it. I absolutely love, 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 love this movie. I am so ready to rewatch watch it. If you've seen Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, what did you guys think about it? Jacket you love it? you hate it? Was it just not for you? Where do you guys rank it in the trilogy? Of course, before you guys check out of this video, don't forget to give it a like. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. Always remember to be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes.